Hello there folks, Funky Cook here. Coming back at you with another video in our Power Wash Simulator coverage. We are detailing soaps and why they are important to be used. So uh, I'm actually going to demonstrate this in the Vintage Car Challenge because there is a very good representation of how effective soaps can be in this challenge. Um, you'll notice this, uh, the uh, time version of this challenge is one of the six gold medals I posted for the challenge videos. And uh, it takes a good minute and a half off of the cleaning time to use the soap effectively. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail doing this, but I do want to show off exactly why the soap is something you should keep up on while you're playing. So first things first, I'm just going to get the kind of the top layer of dirt and dust off of the vehicle here. So we'll use the yellow attachment. And once we have that sufficiently done, we're going to use the back select view. I don't even know what it's called anymore button. But the select button for you old, old school gamers. And we're going to switch the nozzle to the soap nozzle, which is conveniently given to us in this challenge. We're then going to go to the cleaning liquid and we're going to select the metal cleaner. We have two uh, liters of cleaning liquid. Um, that's two bottles worth. Each bottle is a liter. So if you have two bottles, you will eventually run out of your first bottle and you'll have to switch. Uh, you will be prompted to, I believe, hit the left trigger to reload your soap. So right now we have a metal soap. And on the side of, well, the body of this vehicle is metal. In the upper left-hand corner, you can tell... Uh, we have the body listed with the health bar there for how clean it is. And right below that, it tells us that the body is made of metal. So the metal cleaning soap is going to be useful. Um, the mud guard is metal. In some portions of it, anyways. Tire rims or hubcaps are metal. Um, these little bars, the canopy hinge, is uh, a metal object. And then we have the headlights and all that up front here. And those are the items you're want to, going to want to use the metal cleaner on. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the right D-pad. And you can see all of this rust that's along the doors. Now you can try to use the red nozzle. And as you can see, we are getting, we are getting it, but it is far more tedious in order to use the red nozzle here. You can see we went left to right and we missed a bunch. Um, we did clean it up after two runs, but doing all this with the red nozzle, especially if you're on the time challenge, is going to uh, really take a lot more time than it should. So we're going to switch back to the soap nozzle here. And just make sure you're highlighting where the soap is and watch how much faster this is. We just cleaned all of that instantly. So what I recommend doing is just running around with the right D-pad. Uh, using the right D-pad religiously, you're going to do that non-stop. I shouldn't even have to tell you at this point. Just constantly hit the right D-pad. And as you can see, we ran out of soap, so now we have to hit the left trigger to refill. And we still have a little bit of soap left, so what we're going to do is run around and get the hubcaps. While you're using the metal soap, you're going to want to focus on the metal parts, obviously. You don't want to waste the soap on other parts. Uh... Unless, of course, you're buying it yourself in the career mode. Do whatever you want. But for these challenges, you do kind of want to um, be frugal with your purchases. 
or uh, your usage. I'm just going a little crazy here because uh, I've already done the challenge and I'm just doing this as a demonstration. So we've gotten most of the metal clean, I believe. There are always going to be a couple things that don't get clean. Uh, so don't worry about it too much. And we're, we're out of soap, but we've made it to 86% already. And as you can see in the upper right hand corner, we've only used, we've used less than half of our required amount of water. We have a ton of water left to clean the rest of the vehicle if you needed to. Uh, again, I didn't record this in the intent of using it as a gold medal challenge example, but just using the soap gives you a significant head start to cleaning all of the vehicle. Um, and you're going to want to do that for everything. I recommend always having uh, a soap on hand so that when you're going through a level and if you're having trouble with something, you can switch to that soap and finish uh, areas significantly faster. Even if the soap isn't giving you that much trouble, um, or I mean the dirt isn't giving you that much trouble, using soap can significantly increase uh, or increase the speed at which you clean slash decrease the time spent in each level. Um, but that's basically all there is to the soap tutorial. I highly recommend you you learn to use the soap because I wish I had. It probably would have taken 10 to 15 hours off of my playtime if I, uh, I had been paying attention. But it was my first run through th uh, of the game and I didn't know any better. So that's why I'm sharing this information so you guys and gals can and save yourself some of the extra time that I put in. If you have any questions or comments for me, as always, let me know. But if not, I will see you guys in the next video.